What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about another new mythic item coming to the Elder Scrolls Online with the High Isles chapter and that is Mora's Whispers. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. If you've not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that sub button. And if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like. It really does help me out a lot here on the channel. Now, Mora's Whispers is a very unique mythic compared to some of the other mythics we have seen in the game. Um, this one has something else tied into it besides just having a one piece bonus. So the one piece bonus is you gain up to 1528 crit chance and 10% increased inspiration, alliance rank, alliance skill, and monster kill experience. But the catch to this is all of that is based on how many books of Salador's library have been collected. So on the piece of armor, it will show a current bonus of zero, a crit, uh, critical chance bonus of zero, and of course, inspiration, alliance rank, and alliance skill, you know, of zero. And that monster kill experience. But, you know, depending on how many of those books you've read, that's going to go from a, you know, 0% chance all the way up to a 10% chance, which makes this a very unique piece in game, a very viable piece, in my opinion. I think you could fit this into a lot of different, you know, uh, builds. Of course, 1,528 crit chance is a, a good bit of crit chance, you know, if you're needing that crit chance, but you're also going to be able to get increased inspiration, alliance rank, alliance skill, and monster kill experience, which will be very helpful for PVE and PVP players for ranking things up a little bit quicker, you know, gaining a little bit more, you know, just XP in general. And I think this was a very unique idea. Whoever thought of this at Zoss, I'm definitely going to give them props because we have not had anything in the past. And I may be wrong, so you can correct me down in the comment sections if I am, uh, if I am wrong. But I don't think there's ever been anything that's tied you know, to something else in game to actually get the bonus. And what I mean by that is, of course, tying it to reading Shaldor's library. This could be something we could see going forward. I'm kind of curious, you know, when this comes out, I'm, I like to get my hands on it, actually try it out, see how this is going to work. And I'm really curious to see if this is going to be something they continue to do in the future. You know, take some other things in game that, you know, you could collect or do and actually add them to these mythic items saying, you know, just for example, I don't think this would ever be one, but if you've collected so many sky shards, you know, you get the bonus from this particular, you know, mythic item or if you have so many, uh, you know, uh, maybe dungeon, you know, uh, achievements or, or things done, uh, they, there could be a lot of different ways that they could tie this in. If you've read so many Mages Guild books, uh, you know, if you've read so many, if you've done so many things for the Fighters Guild, there could be a lot of different ways that you could find, uh, you know, different things you could do with Mythic items going forward, considering they've kind of tapped into this idea. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be a bad Mythic piece at all. I mean, gaining up to 1,528 crit chance is a great thing. I think a lot of people will be in, uh, interested in that inspiration game, that alliance rank, that alliance skill, that monster kill experience. And if you have all 10%, I'm, I'm not sure. It doesn't say how many books it takes to get that 10%. So if you have to have everything read, if you have to only have a part of it read, it just says based off how many books of Shaldor's library have been collected. So we'll kind of have to wait and see exactly how that's going to work. But I think going forward, we might see Zosk tie some other things in the game into some of these other mythic items because this is a pretty unique idea. It's a lot different uh, when it comes to its uniqueness of that one item bonus of how you get it compared to some of the other sets we have in game. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Will this be a mythic item you're planning on picking up? And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.